This is Dr. Sandeep Tiwari, Principal Faculty of Pharmacy Kalingya University. Today I will deliver lecture on doses form. After completion of this video, you will have idea about doses form, their classification, their advantages and disadvantages. So let us start the video. First of all, what is doses form? Doses forms are the carrier or medium through which drug molecules are delivered to the site of action within the body. So every doses form is a com combination of drug and non-drug components called excipients. When I say drug means API, API means active pharmaceutical ingredient, non-drug component is here excipients which, which are non-drug components. So why, what is the need of doses form? So first is to protect the drug from external environment, second is to prevent the degradation of degradation because of gastric disease. Another, uh, another need of doses form is to improve therapeutic activity to provide optimal drug action directly to the site of action, for example, ointment, or to replace the drug directly into the orifices, for example, rectal and vaginal doses form, or to provide the optimal drug action in the bloodstream, for example, injections, to provide rate controlled drug action that is modified release doses form. So another, uh, another need of doses form is to improve patient compliance, to maintain accuracy of dose, reduction in dose frequency to improve the physical properties of the doses form and last but not this ease of handling and administration of doses form. So for the formation development of any doses form, we need active pharmaceutical ingredient and excipients. So active pharmaceutical ingredients are the chemical compound that are actually used for diagnosis, treatment and prevention of disease. Excipients are used to give particular shape to the formation and to increase stability, palatability and to make the preparation more elegant. So there are different types of excipients that, uh, that is normally used for the formation development of doses form such as coloring agent, sweetening agent, flavoring agent, solubilizing agent, antioxidant, preservatives, suspending agent, binding agent, solvent and lubricants and perfumes. Next we will discuss about classification of doses form. Doses form, classi class doses form can be classified into two broad category for based on their root of administration and based on their physical form. So under the do root of administration, the doses form can be classified into different types that is oral doses form, topical doses form, rectal doses form, parental doses form, vaginal doses form, inhaled doses form, ophthalmic and otic. Based on their physical form, we can classify doses form into three mainly three different form that is solid, semi-solid and liquid. So next we'll discuss about classification of doses form. Doses form are classified according, according to root of administration and physical form. So based on root of administration, the doses form can be classified into oral, topical, rectal, parenteral, vaginal, inhaled, ophthalmic, otic. Based on, the, based on their physical form, we can classify the doses form into three main types that is solid, semi-solid and liquid. Again, the doses form, again the, again the doses form can be classified based on their property that is solid, liquid, semi-solid and others. So under the solid doses form, solid doses form or unit doses form, under the solid doses form, tablet, capsules, powder, pills comes under solid doses form, whereas that syrups, elixir, linktus drops comes under monophagic doses form. Under the semi-solid doses form, suppositories, pessaries, others that is gaseous preparation that is inhalers and uh, aerosols. So based on their uh, based on their phase, we can classify the doses form into monophagic and biphagic. So under biphagic, emulsion and syrup. So let us discuss about what is tablet. Tablet is a solid pharmaceutical doses form containing drug substances with or without suitable diluents and prepared either by compression or molding methods. So next we'll discuss about the characteristics of tablet. The tablet is an essential temper-proof doses form. They are the unit dose form and offer the greatest capabilities of all oral doses form for greater dose precision. Lightest and most compact for of all oral doses form, their cost is low, easiest and cheapest to package and shipping, product identi identification is simple, provide greatest ease of swelling with the last tendency for hang up above stomach. They may be enteric or delayed release, better suited for large scale production. 
Next, we'll discuss about the capsule. Capsules are solid unit doses form in which one or more medicaments enclosed within a cell. Capsules may be divided into two parts. First is body and cap. The longest part is called as body and the smallest part of the capsule is called as cell. The capsules are generally prepared by gel gelatin and dep depending on their formations, the capsule can be subdivided into two types that is hard gelatin and sub soft gelatin. So next we'll discuss about monophagic doses form. So monophagic doses forms refers to liquid preparation containing two or more components in one phase system. It is represented by true solution. A true solution is a clear homogeneous mixture that is prepared by dissolving solute in a suitable solvent. The component of the solution in which is present in a large quantity is known as solvent in which the components present in a small quantity is called as solute. So next we'll discuss about advantages of monophagic liquid doses form. It is easier to swallow, therefore easier for children and oldest people facilitate absorption of drug, drug faster than solid doses form as drug is already in a solution form. It is homogeneous, therefore give uniform dose than suspension or emulsion which needs shaking, simple and fast to formulate. There are many disadvantages associated with monophysic doses form. They are bulky in nature, so difficult to transport and store. Water is commonly used as a vehicle, so therefore they are very prone to microbial growth. So a high amount of preservative is required to preserve the monophysic doses form. And the next uh, disadvantage is that when they when they expose when the doses form are exposed to direct sunlight, it may undergo hydrolysis, so need to store in a cool and dark place. Next disadvantage is drug stability reduced because of hydrolysis and oxidation, so they have shorter expiry date than solid doses form. Next we'll, uh, next we'll classify the monophysic doses form. Monophysic li liquid doses form can be classified into two types that is liquid based on their administration, liquid mint for internal administration, liquid mint for external administration. So liquid under the liquid mint for internal administration, syrups, mixer, elixirs, linters are comes under this section. Whereas liquid mint for external administration, liquid applied to the skin, liquid used in mouth, liquid instilled into body cavities. Under the liquid applied to the skin, lotions, liniments are the example, whereas liquid used in mouth gargles and mouthwashes, liquid installed into body cavities are ear drops, nasal drops, eye drops and enemas. So uh, what is syrup? Syrup is a aqueous preparation of 60% to 80% sucrose with or without flavoring agent and medicinal substances. For example, chlorophenramaliate elixirs. Elixirs are clear, aromatic, sweetened, hydroalcoholic solution with or without medicinal substances intended for oral use. For example, dexamethasone elixir. Next is linctus. It's a viscous liquid oral preparation that are generally prescribed for relief of cough that is codeine linctus. Next, we'll discuss about liquid mint for external administration that is liquid used in mouth. For example, gargles. So gargles are the uh, aqueous solution containing antiseptic, antibiotic used to treat throat infection. Mouthwash. Mouthwash are uh, aqueous solution with a pleasant taste and order used to clean and deodorize the buccal cavity. Next, liquid mint for external administration, liquids instilled into the body cavity that is eye drop, nasal drop and animals. One by one we will discuss. Eye drops are sterile aqueous oily solution intended for installation in eye. For example, timolol malleate eye drops, nasal drops administered through the nose to obtain local effect used during nasal congestion and upper respiratory tract problem. For example, oxymetazole in hydrochloride. Enemas are uh, aqueous or oily solution that is introduced into the rectum and colon via NS for cleansing the stomach. Next is liquid mint for external administration, liquid mint that is liquid mint for skin that is liniment and lotion. Liniments are oily liquid preparation intended for external application with rubbing action to the affected area. Used, this is used to relieve pain and stiffness such as from such as uh, muscle spasm and arthritis. Lotions are topical preparation with low medium viscosity used to moisturize dry skins, for example, calamine lotion, baby lotion. Next, we'll discuss about biophysic liquid doses form. The liquid doses form, which consists of two or 
two phases are called as biphasic liquid dissolution so biphasic liquid dissolution can be classified into two dif two different types namely emulsion and suspension so emulsions uh, emulsions are the biphasic liquid dissolution form preparation containing two immiscible liquid so the liquid which is converted into minute globules is called as dispersed phase and the liquid in which the globules are dispersed is called as continuous phase so in the in the emulsion there will there will be two different types of uh, phase that is internal phase that is dispersed phase and the external phase is also called as continuous phase so emulsion can be classified into three different categories that is simple type depending on global size and special type under simple type water in oil oil in water that is w by o and o by w depending upon global size we can classify emulsion that is micro emulsion or fine emulsion based on their special type we can classify emulsion in a multiple emulsion that is o by w by o or w by o by w type this is all about dosage form thank you